Okay. So the string shapes stand alone. They're standalone. They could be anywhere. They can they can be used anywhere. They can be used on violin as double string shapes. You can use them to start a caged uh, scale or a, or a pentatonic scale. Caged scale and pentatonic scales are pretty much the same, but they're not exactly the same because caged scales can also be caged bound diatonic scales. You can have caged bound arpeggios. But the structure of the cage, the borders of the cage is that I've made for this are tripentatonic cages. And that's where I, we get our total borders from. The usual cage borders are just single pentatonic cage borders, such as 5, 6, seven, uh, 5, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6, root two three five six which is the a shape but notice when we add the fourth of that a shape we're going to be doing the d shape but the numbers involved are going to be the notes involved are going to be the fourth of that root that a shaped root so now it's going to be four six root in the key of f Okay, that would be what it is relative to one, three, five. Okay, so how that? How do we play that D shape? Well, I wanted to mention that the D shape is led by the local root. It's always led by the local root. So there's three D shapes. There's the root D shape right here, five root three, which is uh, second inversion in C. That's what that would be. And then we have the fourth root, which is root four, six, the fourth D-shaped, rather. I have to pay attention to what I'm saying, or I'll just say these funny things. And then the fifth is two, five, seven, led by the local root. Local by local, I mean the mixolydian root on the, uh, the fifth mode. Okay, so D shape, but different numbers. Now, how would we play the entire D right there? It would be a D shape, so we would go, we would refer over, and you would know how to do this in your head, right? You internalize this. Here's your D shape. For pentatonic, it would be, and we've got a way to do this now, okay? Uh, with the D-shaped pentatonic, it, perhaps it would be better to, to look at that, but let's first look at, I know what they are, and I'll show you. Two, three, five, six. So it starts on a D string shape here, okay? Two, three, five, six, root two. And then three, five, six, seven, two, three. So here's where we get our root shaped five, root three. We're gonna take that shape and we're going to play it from the fourth over here in, where were we? We were on the uh, C box. We're going to take that D shape and play it from the fourth. Can't get the both of them. So we play that from the fourth. We say play the same shape. Okay, so it's four, five, six, root, two, four. 5, 6, root 2, 4, 5. Now we're playing that that fourth uh, pentatonic. And then we can play the fifth. We just, what's the G? Well, here's the G's right here. 6, 7, uh, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6, root 2. We're going to play that same shape over here in the C box for the fifth. It would be 3, 5, 7, uh, 6, 7, 2, 3. So what are these shapes? This is why I'm doing this, because I know them by heart, and, and for the last 50 lessons, I've been just whipping them off for you guys, like a G shape. Because I learned them by heart. I learned them by heart um, three years ago or something like that, four years ago going on. And man, I was slow at first. I was really slow. I was like, 
I, I don't even want to waste that much time to show you how oh I did it no no don't go off into one of those just you gotta keep going keep learning then you know after you get some mastery of the of the uh, scale then then you can meander a little bit start to use your ear where do you want to be on that scale or just you know start to play it um, rhythmically and make some music so I was playing the pentatonics by memory and now I decided to make these charts for you uh, so you can play them and I have to look at them slightly differently now I just can't do them completely by memory so here's what happens how do we play them first we have to look at first we have to look at this chart over here so just like yesterday I'm going to take this chart and I'm going to plaster it right here so we can look at this chart and see what's going on so our regular patterns from the pattern board from yesterday's lesson where we were doing diatonics we've taken out I've taken out the fourth and the seventh from all those patterns and that's illustrated here on this particular one I felt that since I start that pattern so strongly on that seventh and now we're taking that seventh out becomes so it's kind of on one side the two notes then you have couple of alias longs and then you have them on the other side and that's your S4L pentatonic stack of four long pentatonic E shape primarily E shape because but we're not going to play the seventh so that's how we get that pentatonic now the S2L pentatonics easy I actually learned it before I learned the diatonic and the S3L pentatonic, remember it had the 7 over here, and it had the 4 over here, so that's where we got a little 7L, it was like a 7L shaped thing, okay, but now, so, so we had that 4 over here, okay, I don't mess it up, there was a 4 there, and the seven, what? The seven was up here. This was the this was the S three L, okay. And it is a seven L shaped pattern, okay. And it's a very important three string pattern because we're going to use the two string, the three string, the four string the five string and the one strings and they're only going to be on the top and bottom strings so they are shape defining they're cage defining strings anyway which gives them a promotion from being just string shapes single string shapes because they're being used to make to to fill in the gaps of you know the patterns that we're going to put together so we don't have any patterns going off the fretboard okay that that's a no-no in, in playing quickly and easily so we have our s3 s is just two three five six root two the first this is the first pattern I actually learned this was harder because I couldn't figure out where this fit into this and how it went over to that and everything this is just a, a regular uh, Fourth, you know, fourth tuning, all P fourth tuning. So root will go to the fourth, but it goes to the third, one fret below that. This is your S two L pentonic S three S 